Hi guys, for today's video, we will be making a coffee cozy that is inspired by the Harry Styles cardigan and this is perfect for a scrap yarn project. So you would need the 5 different coloured yarns as shown and you would need a crochet hook. In this video, I'm using a 5.0mm crochet hook. You can use any hook that is suitable for you. Um, then we would also need crochet needle for weaving in the yarn and you would need scissors. So to make this cozy, we are going to make a rectangle first before joining the two ends together and the rectangle would be approximately the size of 21cm in length and 6cm in height. So let's get started. So the first thing that you will need to do is to grab a red yarn from a slip knot and do 10 chains. Feel free to adjust the number of chains depending on how thick you would like your coffee cozy to be. After doing 10 chains, add one more extra chain and then do a single crochet to the stitch that is taken from the hook. And so you're going to do 10 single crochet to form the first row. After doing 10 single crochet, you will do a chain 1 and then you are going to turn your work. And we are going to continue doing 10 single crochet for row 2 to row 5 and I will see you guys once you are done with row 5. Take note that at the last single crochet, I am going to change the colour of the yarn. So I will just pull the yarn through, leaving 2 loops and then I am going to add the orange colored yarn to finish the single crochet and then i'm going to tie the shorter end of the orange yarn to the red yarn this will ensure that the yarn will not come off so um, i will continue doing row six using the new color so i'll do chain one first and then i'll turn the work and even as i'm doing row six i'll be hiding the yarn along. So as shown here, okay, I'm doing one single crochet and then I'm going to do a double crochet next. So to add some more like texture to the cozy, I'm doing a pattern of one single crochet and one double crochet, one single crochet and one double crochet. So different from what I did for the red part of the cozy, I'm doing one single crochet and one double crochet for the orange part. So over here, for the last stitch, I did a double crochet. Okay, and to move on to the next row, I would first do one chain and then I would turn the work around and I would be doing a single crochet next. So even as I ended the previous row with a double crochet, I will start the next one with a single crochet. So basically you would just be continuing to do single double, single double, single double. And I would just leave the yarn that I was hiding earlier behind and I would just cut um, the yarn later on. So shown here is the pattern that I would do to make the coffee cozy. Feel free to mix around the sequence of the colours. And so basically what we did earlier was to do the portion of row 6 to row 9 of the orange colour. And feel free to continue um, doing the green and the black colour. And I will be showing you guys on how to do the mix of black and red colour. So over here, I've just done the black portion of the coffee cozy. And I'm going to add the red colour to do the mixed portion. And what I'm going to do is to 
bring in the red yarn and then tie the shorter end of the red yarn to the black yarn. So I'm going to do a chain 1 and then I would flip the work and even as I do the single crochet, I'm going to hide the black yarn and the red yarn along. And so for the first row of this mixed portion, I chose to do just the red portion. So I'm just going to do single crochet um, using the red yarn. So now I'm going to do the second row of the mixed portion. Having done the chain 1 and flipping the work, I'm going to continue taking the black yarn. I will leave the shorter end of the red yarn behind. So I would do a one single crochet and hiding the black yarn behind. And now I pull through the yarn and then I will take the black yarn to finish the single crochet. So this will allow me to change to the black yarn and even as I do the single crochet of the black yarn I'm hiding the red yarn behind so I will continue to do the single crochet with the red yarn following through and I'm done with the second row and then I'm going to do chain one and turn the work again and this time round, the red yarn will be at the front of you. So technically, now we are looking at it from the back of the cozy. So you continue to hide the red yarn as shown. And then I'm going to change color again to the red color. Take note that what is in front of you right now is actually the back of the cozy. So that's why we put the yarn that we are hiding in front of you. So now I'm doing the third row of the mixed section. And so um, feel free to change the color of the yarn whenever you would like because it really depends on how you would like your mixed color to look like so I don't really have a definite pattern for that um, but yeah so over here I am changing um, the color of the yarn again and then I would change color again to red because over here I don't want the black to be too overpowering so here I'm doing the red color again Continue doing the mixed portion and I will see you guys once you are done with it. So I'm done here making the mixed portion and I'm going to change color to yellow. And so I'm going to grab the yellow yarn to complete the last single crochet. And so note here that there are three yarns, three different colored yarns. And what I'm going to do is to tie the red and black color together first. So cut the yarn and then I'm going to tie them together. And after tying them together, I'm going to tie the yellow yarn with the red yarn. I will tie the shorter end of the yellow yarn with the red yarn. So over here, I will not be hiding the three different colored yarns even as i do the crochet so i will just weave it in later on i'll see you guys once you're done with the yellow portion so after you're done with the yellow portion you would do chain one and cut the yarn leaving around 15 to 20 centimeters behind because you need it to do sewing later on and then pull through the yarn 
and then now what I'm going to do is to weave in all the extra yarns so I will weave in everything except for the yellow coloured yarn that we just cut earlier So this is how the cozy would look like once you are done weaving in all the ends. So take note here that um, there's a front part that is less messy for the mixed portion. Uh, we are going to take that as the outside of the cozy. So you see this is the messy part and there will be the inside. And then we are going to do a sewing. So I will put through the yellow yarn to the red portion and then I would sew the two together. Now we are reaching to the end and I would put the yellow to the inside of the cozy and then I'm going to tie the yellow yarn to form a knot. So this will ensure that the yellow yarn will not easily come loose and so I'm going to tie it um, once more. And once I'm done with tying the knots, I'm going to hide the yellow yarn to the inside of the cozy. And after you are done weaving in, you would cut the yellow yarn and we are done with the coffee cozy. So, this would fit perfectly for a Starbucks cup like this. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed today's video and please remember to like and subscribe for more content and see you guys in the next video. Bye!